Managing Director of Fayha Channel in the United States of America, Chairman of the Iraqi Women and Family Association, Associate Member in the International Organization of the Freedom of Journalism in Washington, D.C., Associate Member in the Human Rights Organization in Canada, Associate Member in the, in the Journalism Rights Organization in Canada, Associate Member in the Arabian Women and Family Organization, Founding Member of the Organization for Defending the Rights of Politicians, Chairman of the International Organization of Women and Family, Founding Member of the Organization of Human Rights Charity, Founding Member of Child and Motherhood Charity Association. Haifa was chosen by an American organization to train Libyan women on how to practice democracy through the Iraqi experiment. Haifa received the following award honors. Peace Shield from the United Nations in the USA, the Best Media Person for 2012 from Al Jawahiri Foundation after winning the polls conducted by the Foundation. Certificate of Appreciation from the Iraqi Media Network. Certificate of Appreciation from the International Women and Children Organization. Certificate of Appreciation from the Refugee Organization in Washington, D.C. Shield of Creativity from the Iraqi Center in Washington during the Women Day. Dove of Peace Award from the United Nations. The Best Media Person from the Arab American Association. The Best Media Person from the Iraqi Canadian Cultural House. An award from the Researchers Forum in the USA. An award from the Disabled Children Association as the Best Human Rights Activist in Cairo. Awarded the Best Media Person from the Iraqi American Forum. Awarded the Best Media Person by the Iraqi American Human Rights Organization and many, many more. She had worked on the following publications more than 300 articles and topics in the following newspapers Al Masar, The Washington Post, Al Dustur, Al Shark Al Awsat, Al Hayat, etc. More than 170 essays and researches about human rights and women's rights and the role of women in building society. Produced more than 1,000 TV programs concerning the issues of life of the Iraqi citizens in program called al Uspuraya, hosted and interviewed most of the Iraqi government officials and some experts in Iraqi matters, also presented seminars that focuses on communities affairs. Her programs received high rating from both inside and outside of Iraq. Haifa also presented al Fayha TV program in America. This program has built the bridges of love and connected Iraqis people inside and outside and was the connection that relaxed alienation and comforted Iraqis abroad by connecting them with their families inside their home country. Haifa then moved to a Rashid channel and continued her journalism journey and hosted the program Kalam Walakin with Haifa al Hussein, which focused on political matters. She presented the program Tibet Ahlana, which focused on the people in need the disabled, the widows, the orphans, and the homeless children. Haifa also presented the TV program Al Rashid Hawla Al Alam, which cared about and focused on the Iraqi communities around the world, women issues, freedom of journalism, 
authors, writers, civil organization, activities, human health food aid. Haifa was involved with activities as following. Conference of the Iraqis Media and Constitution, sponsored by UNESCO in Paris. Conference of the Iraqi Journalists in Algeria. UNESCO Conference for Child Rights in Rome. Human Rights Conference in Canada. Freedom of Journalism Conference in Washington, D.C. Relief of the Libyan People Conference in France. The Arab Revolution Conference in Washington, D.C. Women Rights Conference in Sudan. Freedom and Freedom of the Expressions Conference in Afghanistan. Reconciliation between Iraqis factions and political powers and human rights conferences in Jordan. Civil and cultural and conferences in Morocco, Syria, Tunisia, Switzerland. Haifa hosted and presented tens of conferences, workshops, forums inside and outside Iraq related to children, the right of citizenship, freedom of culture, journalism, and many other media and intellectual activities. While working as a president of Al Masar newspaper, Haifa made it a goal to raise the patriotic awareness in promoting the prevalence of civil and social ideas between citizens and Iraqis, called for strengthening the national unity and building of freedom. Haifa contributed and was able to establish a strong root and public base for Massad newspaper and was able to increase the number of published issues in Iraq. Haifa also supervised some urban service activities like building a mosque in Salah Din province and school in Al Sadr city. Haifa was involved in helping the Red Crescent organization in distributing food to the needy people who suffered from the war and the terror operations in Al Anbar province and Al Sadr city and Al Basra and other cities in Iraq. Haifa always tried to keep herself tied to Iraq, although she was far away from her beloved country against her will and the price she paid for that was very high because she said the word of truth and justice and as a result her father her sister her secretary and her driver were all killed with a cold blood she survived more than one assassination attempt when she had to leave her country forcibly she was both surprised and shocked that the branches of repression were everywhere. She was arrested by the Syrian intelligence service because of her standing against terror and terrorists that were entering Iraq from neighboring countries. When she was arrested, something epic happened. She has never been witnessed in Iraqi history with all its components. When all people from all over the free world stood on her side during her troubled days and with the help of journalists without borders until she was freed. She received many international honors from the Red Crescent as the best human rights activist the best media person from the USA Foundation in New York in 2012. Haifa was chosen to represent the cause of women in the Middle East by the International Organization of Women and Children, which worked under the umbrella of the United Nations. Haifa is now in an official mission to help the, uh, the victims of terror sponsored by the United Nations in the countries of Iraq, Syria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, Yemen, and Afghanistan and Sudan. 
Through her role in the United Nations, Haifa was able to raise a donation of $100 million to treat the sick in the best hospitals in the world, Canada, Germany, and the USA. And thanks to her effort, more than 850 patients were already moved to hospitals abroad so far and the project is still ongoing in moving the patients and the victims of terror to hospitals worldwide. Haifa was also able to raise seven million dollars and deliver them to Iraqi organizations for projects of growth and development. 